A distress call to Kayleen Wu. It's Matt Newman, the most valuable student of yours from Beacon College. I miss you, and I know you are the best of a memory that comes to me. Lately, I have been thinking about you a lot, because you mean so much to me in my studies. Even though I learned a lot throughout the years, you're my dire need once and again. I am suffering of pain, a loss, a future where I feel is going down a dark path for me. I know I got married, but that doesn't seem to be the problem. It is my own personal life in which I faced and felt that I have lost what I was, I, wa I once was. My parents hurt me and displaced the best of my hard-earned works done, and I can't seem to turn back time. My screenplays and my drawings of UX80. My cell phone and my account I had with them. It was ever since four years ago from a car crash that set the panic button on my future and ruined everything. Especially my settlement money from the crash that they embezzled in an investment company. I look upon not only defending the best of our pagan culture, but to see what role we played in defending our environment from pollution levels. Due to the fact of saving the life of those who we love, that suffer from that through asthma. I am talking about my wife, where I know you are very concerned about me being with that significant other. I have a feeling that you may be upset hearing that news, but the memories that I have about you are always coming up inside my head. And telling others how amazing you were with me during the two years there. I just can't ignore that feeling I had me held me in your arms, when I was always there for you, defending you, learning from the best of you because you were and will always be my high priestess. I need you now more than anything to help me get through these tough years to protect what we hold the most in our hearts, even though we both despised that college and I survived giving Beacon College a bad reputation. I have missed you so much that I have been talking a lot about how great of a person you are and how much it really means to me to have you in my life. In the meantime, I am so full of grief, so stacked on my shoulders with writer's burden after another burden of projects. Depending on piles of environmental research, I have been studying for four years already. It is not for a college or a university study, since being on supplemental security income really crunches me in. After what my parents took away from me, they did a lot of wrong, control over me, taking from me what wasn't theirs, and throwing me out of where I was living. I was trying to keep that place and move into another building at the time, where I had extended environmental research that could easily bring an end to the Republican Party, as well as the religious right-wing bastards. These projects can make a difference if I was allotted more time in the past about this. Over 700,000 people suffer from air pollution. And you and I can make a difference to bring this to an end to give those a right to clean air. Help me. Help us. We are now living in the time where we have to, where we have got to the brink of 440 parts per million man-made carbon dioxide gases and carbon monoxide. I am hurting, and we are all hurting even from the simplest criteria pollutants that even cigarette smoke contains. I have learned a lot about the science of cigarettes and how more dangerous they are than the misinformed ways cigarette companies would like to persuade to others making them to believe what they want others to believe. These are the main reasons that I am dealing with these days, and you are, my, and you are the only one I can turn, for, turn to for the best cultured help. You made me believe in who I am, and how I became a pagan rice activist. And you made me believe in you. I turn to you now because of what we pagans stand for in this world for thousands of years, and what it means to be the best pagan as there is. 
listening and obeying in orders from my from his high priestess. You can help me value what I hold dear with me, even though I do not have enough tools to power this without you. You still have a place in my heart no matter what happens. I have devoted myself and am willing to devote myself again to your practices and to use it for the greater good of the greatest number of people. I am an earth-centered, ends-based ethic lately, and I need improvement, which is only something that you can supply for my well-being. Living off the grid isn't easy, wasn't easy, and now coming back, it's a bit of a slow process and some things are coming back. You are still, make, you are still missing in the picture, where stacks of research and friends in the area are backing me up, especially when that someone who is an environmental engineer is a great listener, and the other activist is by my side. This is the future I never wanted, but something, I'm sorry, but someone has to stand up to bat. I never thought this would, this would happen. This is Matthew David Ser Piero Carnavale da Vinci Motel Newman, the descendant of Leonardo Ser Piero da Vinci. I know you can hear this message. You and Sonia Sudan of Olympic Heights have begun my life of realizing that there is something much larger than I thought. I know I carry the same behavioral trait of Leonardo Serapiero da Vinci. But I am tired of seeing everyone being harmed in this world. And this is just another reason why I need you here. If anyone else is listening, you are the pagan unity.